Hey, this is Brett, and this 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited L is stock number 24J106. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L headquarters. This 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee L has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, puts out 293 horsepower, it's paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission. This Jeep's gonna get you 25 miles per gallon on the highway, 18 city, and an average of 21 miles per gallon. If you're new to the channel, I go around the vehicle, show you all the features, show you the outside, show you all the options on the interior, just give you a very, probably one of the most thorough walk-arounds of any Grand Cherokee on YouTube. I'm gonna check out the radio, the seating, everything on this one. This is a limited package. The limited package is uh, known for the chrome trim on the grill as well as the lower valence there. Of course, Jeep has the seven slotted grill symbolizing the seven continents that Jeep has been on. You also get the chrome trim on the Jeep lettering on the front. This one does have the LED fog lamps, the LED headlamps, and the LED running lights. I'm gonna turn all those on at the end of the video so you can see how bright they are. And it does have front bumper parking sensors. So this is a limited, it has the um, Luxury Tech Group 2. It also has the panoramic uh, roof on the top as an option. Midnight Sky Blue Metallic is the color, which is an option as well. And then you get these 20 inch painted and polished aluminum wheels. And these are a $2,475 option as well. Those are all the options that come on this vehicle other than the standard limited equipment. This one has Bridgestone Acopia HL 422 tires. These are 265 50 R20s. You get kind of a all-terrain tread pattern or a highway, more like a highway tread pattern on there, um, but pretty good looking on those wheels. These are some of my favorite wheels that I've seen on the new Grand Cherokees. Midnight Sky Blue is got a lot of metal flake in it. If I can get it to focus here, you'll see that metal flick. There you go. There we go. You can see all the purples and the aquas in that metal flake. Uh, really a good looking color. Um, to be honest, the picture studio really does not do it justice how good looking this color is. Let's take a look at the original window sticker. I'm not gonna go through everything, but feel free to pause this at any point. As you can see, 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited, or L Limited 4x4, midnight sky exterior paint, global black interior, Capri leatherette access to seats, 3.6 liter Pentastar with the electronic start stop and eight speed automatic transmission. Now everything on your left here is gonna be your standard equipment, your standard interior features, including the 10.1 inch Uconnect 5 radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And I believe those are wireless now. GPS nav, heated steering wheel, heated front seats, heated second row seats, and uh, just everything that you see there. The optional equipment starts with the Midnight Sky exterior paint, which is $595. The Luxury Tech Group 2 is $29.25, and that gives you the Capri Leatherette access to seats, the ventilated front seats, the intersection collision assist system, park sense front and rear park assist with stop, surround view camera, rain sensitive windshield wipers, rear view auto dimming digital mirror display, I'm sorry, digital display mirror, Rear backup camera washer, integrated off-road camera, manual second row window shades, automatic dimming exterior driver mirror, door and lift gate passive entry, memory steering column, and power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. The dual, dual pane panoramic sunroof is 2615, and it gives you the interior rear facing camera as well, also known as the fam cam or family camera. So you can see what's going on in the second row and third row seats. 20 inch by eight and a half polished aluminum painted 
Wheels, uh, 2475 is the option on that. Total MSRP on this one is 63185 to get all your rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep. In the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website to this vehicle if it's still available with all the rebates and pricing to get your Summit price. So click that. It's also linked in the description below. Three-year 36 bumper-to-bumper, five-year 60 powertrain. There are your miles per gallon. It gets a four on the greenhouse gas rating and a seven on the smog rating, which is uh, on the good side there. And then your safety ratings. My favorite thing about the Grand Cherokee is they're always five and four stars up and down the board. The overall score is a five, score, five star, so definitely feel safe hauling your family around in this vehicle. And part of that is due to the four-wheel disc brakes on the Grand Cherokees. The LED tail lamps are also a nice feature. They're proven to shine faster, farther, and brighter than normal halogen lights. Uh, backup parking sensors there as well. The rear gate is in nice condition, of course. it's. I do a lot of used vehicles, so I'm always showing the condition on the vehicles, but power lift gate on this one. You get a nice storage area back here. Uh, your jack tools are in there and that's how you get your spare tire down. These third row seats do fold down flat. They are a manual fold down, so they go down like so. And once you get them going, they kind of go by themselves and then to get them up, obviously just this strap, really easy to do. You'll note that there's uh, a Grand Cherokee and a Grand Cherokee L for this new body style there. Put those in the windows, one of the little Easter eggs on this Jeep. And to get this gate down, you press this button here. It'll beep at you three times and then begin its descent. Uh, you also get the capless fuel fill on this Grand Cherokee and all the Grand Cherokees. Never get gas on your hands again. And I really like the styling on the new Grand Cherokee. It's really growing on me. I, at first, I didn't know what to think, but I, I really like it now, especially now that they're coming out with new wheels and new designs uh, for the outside. Blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors, built-in directional signals. It does have the enter and go system if it does have this, those three little lines there for the passive entry. Take a look at the second row seats, that Capri leatherette uh, or leather access seats or access two seats that they call. You do get armrests on these second row seats. They are adjustable, so they slide. But to get to the third row, all you have to do is grab this handle here and that'll slide forward like so to get to those third row seats. Now it's just a two seater back there. So this is only a six passenger vehicle, but the uh, passengers back here, nice thing that Jeep's done. They give you a USB and a USB-C. So if they have devices, they can charge those. And that is the fam cam or family camera. So it's actually a camera right there and it shines down on what's going on there. So you can see if people are fighting or if somebody's in trouble back here. You can see that all on the screen in front, so I'll show you that in just a little bit. Rear air controls, heated seat buttons, and then two more USBs, two more USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. You get two cup holders right here, and factory, factory floor mats that do snap into place so they're not gonna move around. This one also has the rear window shades, which are a very nice feature. I wish my van had these for my kids, um, but just a nice feature if people are back here uh, they're not going to get the sun in their eyes and such. Child safety locks on the back doors. And then up front, you get the same material on the seats, but you get bucket seats up here. That nice white stitching. Both these seats are heated in. Both these seats are cooled with that luxury, luxury tech group too. Factory floor mats up here, auto headlamps, power telescopic steering wheel and tilt. You get the nice wood grain trim. Get a good look at that trim on there. Power windows, locks and mirrors, and memory driver's seat. Top and side, check out the options on the interior. You get the 12 inch LCD display, which is pretty sweet. This one only has 12 miles on it. It is brand new, but you get the digital speedometer. You can also do like a bunch of different um, settings here. So it gives you your miles per gallon, your adaptive cruise stuff, your radio, 
your degrees for your off-road pages and such. So a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with that instrument cluster. You get the wood grain trimmed and leather wrapped heated steering wheel, cruise controls and adaptive cruise controls. And they've made pretty much adaptive cruise controls a standard feature on the Grand Cherokee. I haven't seen one yet without adaptive cruise. Uh, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, audio controls on the back of the steering wheel, and then you do get paddle shifters on there as well. This one does have the start stop capabilities, lane departure warning, stability control, hazard lights, parking sensors, you can turn those off and on. And then you get the Uconnect 5 10.1 inch radio. This one does have of course, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, Bluetooth capabilities, also AUGS and USB and Alexa hookups. You get your climate controls here, including your dual climate controls. Now, if you don't like doing the climate controls up here, you can do it on the more tactile buttons down here with the knobs and switches and everything. You also have volume and tune controls there. And of course, this one has the factory navigation system. Um, this radio and this Uconnect 5 system is supposed to be five times faster than the old Uconnect 4 system, just for switching pages and the nav navigation system in particular is supposed to be quicker. And then uh, I would go to vehicle, but basically that's everything there. Uh, the surround view camera we can check out if I turn it on. There we go. So you can see the 360 camera right there. You also get a view of the back a wide view of the back, a wide view of the front, a narrow view of the front, and then your backup camera. So if you did put put a hitch on this vehicle, you could get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time, and you could zoom in on that hitch, once again, if you put a hitch on this vehicle. There is your off-road cam or uh, trail cam, and as I turn those the steering wheel, you can see that those lines change. So that kind of gives you a an idea of where your tires are going to be in the future so if you are off-road that you're not going to be hitting any rocks or that you want to stay on the trail in a particular rut or whatever um, so that's a really cool feature as well and then you also have your fam cam which I told you we'd look at so that is a view of the third row and second row seats so check this out I'll wave there we go you can see my hand right there on those second row seats um, and what you can do is you can actually zoom in over here, so if one of your kids is being extra naughty, you can zoom in and see what they're doing and maybe tell them to stop it or if they're fighting or if they need something or if they're in distress, you can zoom real quick without really taking your eyes off the road. So that's a really nice safety feature and a good way to keep the peace in the car. You also get all your different apps on here. Now I'm not gonna go through everything. So if there's anything in particular that you guys want me to look go through, let me know. I'm just gonna show you all the options here. Feel free to pause it, and then let me know what you want me to go through in particular. Um, you just get all these different apps here. You get your comfort, and basically this, these are just links to different parts of the radio, different programs in the radio, like your phone. You can do that through the media and everything. Uh, you get your vehicle, basically the cameras where we just were, off-road pages, those are specific to this page. And then you have your system here and then other but if we go back to the off-road pages here just give you an idea you have your steering angle your transfer case if it's locked or unlocked your rear axle locker if it's locked or unlocked now i don't know if this one has the rear axle lock or not i don't think it does uh, but you also have your um, different quadra track one systems with the uh, select terrain so you get snow sand mud auto and sport and if you go up to the evic here and i switched it to snow you can see that sand mud auto and then sport mode and i believe that's how you get to use those paddle shifters um, but you can change that so that's pretty cool you also get latitude longitude and altitude on there you get your different accessory gauges so you can see what your coolant, oil, oil pressure, trans temp, and battery voltage is doing. And then your pitch and roll, uh, which is very handy if you're off-roading. And then once again, the select terrain, that's part of those buttons down there. You can, so you can see I got it in snow, sand, mud, auto, and then sport puts you on a drag strip with your Grand Cherokee Limited. And then you can check out your front-facing camera again. So a lot of these 
features on here basically just go to different parts of the radio, which we already looked at. So that's pretty cool. You also have a wireless battery, or I'm sorry, a wireless cell phone charge pad, which charges your phone battery. Uh, you get two USBs, two USB Bs, Cs, and an AUX jack, keyless entry with remote start, and a power lift gate on there. There's a nice spot right here for your key fob to go, and they designed that to put your key fob in there. Uh, you also get the nice wood grain trim on the dash and doors. Jeep always has done a very nice job of making that flow nicely. And one of the last things here, one of the options on the vehicle, which is a... This is a $2,615 option, is the second row fixed glass and then the power sunroof in front. But remember, that also gives you the family cam is part of that price. Home link buttons, assist and SOS buttons, power sunroof and sunshade controls. So that sunshade, can, you can close that so that's not open. Um, basically, when it's all the way closed, it's just like a normal roof in a car. Roof, roof. I get made fun of for saying that all the time. Anyways, you also have your rear view mirror camera, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's a video display of what's going on behind you. Now, if you didn't like that, you can make it a normal rear view mirror uh, like so. And then it is an auto dimming mirror as well. So a lot of great stuff on there. Now, as promised, I'm going to turn on all the lights up front. I'm also going to start the vehicle and take a quick look under the hood. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you got a really good idea of the overall look, styling and of course options on this particular Grand Cherokee. I'm going to be trying to do more videos like this of our new inventory uh, just to help out all of our great viewers out there and help the store maybe sell some more new vehicles. We got number one in the state last month for uh, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge and Ram in Wisconsin. 3.6 liter, 293 horsepower, and uh, you can hear it's really a nice smooth engine. There's the emissions sticker. And you can see all those LED lights are very bright. You get the orange running lights on top there. And once again, just note the chrome accents with the limited package. And then those nice 20 inch painted and polished aluminum wheels. I think look very good on this Grand Cherokee. The LED tail lamps, it's a very nice signature look for a Jeep. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Grand Cherokees, Grand Cherokee Ls, Cherokees, Compasses, Renegades, you name it, we gotta go to the website right there. SummitAuto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at SummitAuto.com. If you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to YouTube.com slash SummitAuto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Jeep vehicle walkarounds on YouTube. Almost 9,000 videos and counting and uh, well over 1,000 Jeep videos on there. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Grand Cherokee videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee, in particular this 2024 Grand Cherokee Limited L in Midnight Sky Exterior Paint. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.